Well, this video aged like milk. <laughs> well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I want to talk about Ruan Mei because today I just got she. Because for one, I didn't really feel like waiting until this game version of Raiden Shogun comes and I would get, get she with sparkles. So I just ended up pulling on she because why not? So that video I made a while ago kind of aged like milk, but it's whatever. <laughs> but, anyways, back to what I want to talk about. I got that. I said over and over again Ruan Mei is like one of the better characters you can go for by far because yes you could go for a broken DPS character but at the same time since there's so much DPS characters in the game and all of them like so powerful in their own right the DPS category kind of oversaturated with so much DPS in the game because by default in most gacha games support characters always have higher pull value than a DPS character and in a Honkai Star Wars, that is it is especially true because with all the DPS character we have, pulling a support character is very worthwhile to go for. Especially a harmony character because as I said before, harmony is legit the best path in the game. Because if you go for Ruan Mei, legit Ruan Mei like one of the safest options you can go for because by far she is one of the most universal characters in the game. She works for DPS characters, she works for DOT team, she offers damage mitigation by pushing back the enemy turn, delaying them even more. And not to mention how extremely hot Ruan Mei is at the same time, like she has basically everything you want in a character. So she is by far one of the best characters you can go for by far. But as I keep saying over and over again, even though I think Ruan Mei is legit freaking broken, if you don't want to pull on Ruan Mei, you can skip it, like no one forcing you to pull on Ruan Mei. Like there are valid reasons for sure, like for one, if you feel like you have enough harm characters on your account and you feel like you don't need Ruan Mei, or another reason why you skip in Ruan Mei is that you really want both Black Swan and Mama Kafka for that crazy DOT team. Because if you're a free to play player, your resources are very limited, so you have to pick for the character you want. It can be rough sometimes for sure. Because legit every single character in this game is just so enticing. It's just so hard to skip a character. Especially when they up the difficulty spike of the game. To where if you can beat the set character that's on the feature banner. It's looking kind of nice over there for sure. But otherwise Ruan Mei is a very worthwhile to get. Because even though she might lose her advantage in this MOC. Like she's a harmony character that's on par with. Bronya and can let you double or triple your damage because of how good that universal elemental piercing is. The only way I can see you stop using Ruan Mei unless they make like legit a carbon copy of Ruan Mei and power creep Ruan Mei. Ruan Mei will always have her uses for sure. And if you do decide to go for Ruan Mei, you will never have any regret like zero. And yeah, that's about it because with all that said, I think that everything I want to talk about for today's video. So thank Thanks for watching, I do appreciate you for sure. And final thought is, if you want Ruan Mei, you are chilling for sure. But if you don't want she, you can skip she for sure. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post daily videos every single day. And with all that said, take care. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.